Well, welcome back. Well, now it's time for Top Topic here on Media Watch, where we go through one of the stories making headlines here in China. And today's topic deals with people that were on that fateful plane that was hijacked in Xinjiang, which has been dubbed by the Chinese government as a terrorist act. Now, a report which comes to us from One China Times has said that passengers and crew members who foiled the hijacking attempt were honored for their bravery and calmness by regional authorities in Yurumqi on Monday. They recalled the terrifying experience when six assailants allegedly tried to hijack the plane that was bound for the Xinjiang capital. Three men wielding aluminum pikes taken from two walking sticks attempted to break into the cockpit about 10 minutes after the plane lifted off from Xinjiang's Hotan Airport at 12.25 p.m. on Friday. According to flight attendant Guo Jia, she was attacked by the men after trying to stop them. Unable to enter the cockpit, one assailant attempted to light a fuse inserted into a bottle. Liu Hui Jun, who was a passenger sitting in the front of the cabin, jumped up from his seat and knocked the lighter out of the man's hand. The three men became angry and began to beat Liu, but passengers and crew members quickly responded by attacking the assailants. Meanwhile, the other three suspected hijackers, wielding aluminum pipes and explosive devices, threatened passengers in the middle of the cabin, shouting the plane has been hijacked, whoever stands up will beat them to death. Now, many passengers, including six police officers traveling on business, quickly stood up and started to fight the suspects after some people shouted, get up and fight. Now, the report goes on to say that a few minutes later, the six suspects were restrained and the plane carrying 91 passengers and nine crew members was safely directed back to Hotan Airport at 1247 p.m. Unfortunately, at least 10 people were injured in the incident. Now, the World Uyghur Congress has disputed the nature of the attacks, saying that the passengers were confronted with racially charged slurs, which led to the conflict. Xinjiang has unfortunately seen an escalation of tensions in recent years between ethnic Uyghurs and Han Chinese. So it appears as though there seems to have been problems between ethnic Uyghurs and Han Chinese for quite some time, and it looks like it is now starting to boil over. Well, hopefully some kind of middle ground can be reached between these two people before something really tragic occurs.